Webin FC TV with Adam Hinchwood following a tool draw with Bath away in the National League South. Adam, what were your thoughts on that game? Um, yeah, I thought it was an excellent away performance, if I'm being honest. Um, you know, we've had, doesn't sound like a broken record here, same old stuff, lots of possession, lots of chances. Um, and somehow we're relying on a last minute equaliser. Um, so loads and loads and loads to be positive with. Um, at the same time, you know, we could have very easily, the last two games, for how well we've played, come away with just one point. Um, so full credit to the players to keep going and show and fight and endeavour to the last minute um, to, to get four out of those two. Um, but definitely feel like it's a, it's a missed opportunity. Um, there's not many games in the league today. Um, you know, a real strong contingent travelling down at, on a work day at three o'clock. Um, you know, unbelievable crowd here today. Um, and yes, yeah, it just feels like um, two points gone, unfortunately. On the positive side of that, we spoke at points this season where it's felt like maybe the battle hasn't been there for the full 90 minutes. And it's two games in a row where the team have battled right to the end and, and got something out of these games, which, as you say, have been good performances. So there's obviously like a positive that the team's taken on that sort of mindset. No, definitely. I mean, I've been a bit critical of like the, the team spirit and, and stuff like that. Um, you know, so you, I think you've got to have an element of, of team spirit and togetherness to, to get last minute goals like we're doing. Um, so that's obviously really pleasing. Um, yeah, but like I say, I think you know we should come in at two 0 at, at half time. We have two, at least two, really glorious chances, um, which just a bit tame on, on our efforts um, today, unfortunately. Um, but. Yeah, I mean, lots of force changes today. We've got uh, illness going through the through the camp at the moment, which is uh, hopefully not going to um, hinder us too much going forward with four hours or whatever it took to get here. Um, you know, we've got us all sitting together on a stuffy bus, so I'm hoping that you know, we can, elements of that we can try and avoid. But um, it is what it is, and I've said to the, the squad for a long time now that they're all be needed. Um, and you know, I thought today there were some really good performances. Um, so, like I say, really, really loads and loads to be positive with. Loads and loads to be positive with. Um, at the same time, you know, we've got to expect a little bit more um, and feel like it's um, definitely um, a, a point gain. I suppose we've got to look at it, scoring so late, but with the chances that you, you create. Um, I think to typify it today with. Uh, Holly Pierce is one where it's going in, it hits Miki's heel and then goes out for a goal kick and then they go down there and get like a, a penalty, which was a good challenge in my opinion. Um, they get a penalty. Um, but, you know, fortunate for us today that they hit the bar on the side of the bar and we managed to get a last minute goal. So, um, yeah, um, it's never boring watching Worthing lately. Um, but, yeah, we'd like to be a bit more entertaining and get a few more points on the board. Yeah. Um... I mean, it's the fine margins though, like you say, it could have easily been lost uh, in a result, in a performance that was, it was strong today, it was very good, both halves, second half especially, it felt like we grew into it, and it feels like we have done the last couple of games, Maidstone was similar, um, uh, last weekend was similar as well, Boxing Day, sorry, um, so is that something the team's sort of doing more, you find them growing into games a little bit more, being a little bit more reactive and adaptive in, in these sort of games? Yeah, possibly, um, you know, I think... Like I say, it'd be nice to come in if we take our chances and we're a bit more ruthless in, in both boxes um, in the last couple of weeks, then you probably come in at 2-0 and you know then the team's got to come out at you and leave a bit more space and you know they go ahead um, and then uh, or sort of we go ahead and then they go ahead again after us going ahead to, for like nothing chances, uh, just a straight ball down the, down the middle of the pitch that we don't deal with and, and then you know, a deflected shot, um, which we've got to do better to, to stop them getting the shot at goal, effort at goal, in my opinion. But um, no, yes, yeah, it's, uh, it's a good, good one for us to analyse. Like I say, lots of positives, uh, but still, you know, we, we want to be better and we'll keep on keep on pushing um, for our performances to, to, to definitely be better moving forward. Just touching a few of those performances today, uh, a few standouts to say that Ibia can be a very strong game for him. Uh, Kane Wills, Joel Colbrand taking the armband today as well. and taking quite a strong leadership role today as well. Um, just a few of the boys, like some of their performances today, um, what do you make? No, of yeah, I've got to say, I thought uh, Ruben, as 18-year-old player at this level, uh, arguably our best player for me. Defensively aggressive, gave us out going forward. Um, good decisions on the ball. Um, you know, I thought he was thought he was excellent. Um, you know, he's, he's 
been in the team and then had a bit of illness without the team and then he's got to fight to get his place back and that's all you can ask and you know Wally Starkey there are two lads that can still play on our youth team um, he's come on and had a big impact for us um, so yeah, that's all you can ask I thought um, again like Dan Bowery who's been waiting patiently been waiting really patiently for his opportunity he's been training so hard he's been aggressive everything that we've asked of him we've seen improvements in training and I thought he was he was excellent today he was you know the, the, the player that we um, want him to be aggressive in the air he was his passing was was good his longer passing could have been a bit better at times but you know it was a real good performance and I'm hoping now that that would give him a lot of confidence and you know he can have a, a good good run in the team and you know it's, now it's about these boys being consistent um, can they be consistent at this level over a run of games and uh, yeah if we, could, if we can do that then you know it, it bodes well for our squad.